What's up West Coast Swing Dancers? In this video, we're gonna bring you a beginner level routine using the seven basics of West Coast Swing so you can practice them and develop confidence and look great in the dance floor, right? So we're gonna start with the sugar push, followed by the left side pass. Off of the left side pass, we're gonna use the inside turn. Then we're gonna do the sugar tuck, which pairs nicely with the right side pass. Another combo we're gonna practice is the passing tuck, which also pairs nicely with a right side pass. We'll use a sugar push to reset our brains before we tackle the eight count whip. What's up gang, it's Brian B. And Ms. Megan. All right, so let's walk through these and these are gonna be, we put them together in a routine format, but more importantly, I'll show you the groups of them that will work well together and eventually this will all become automatic. So we probably all learn the sugar push or push break, right? So we're gonna start with that, right? Then the next easiest pattern is the left side pass. So one of the confusing things for leaders is which way do I go? So the next two patterns are gonna work off the left side pass. We're gonna do a basic left side pass and then we're gonna do a left side pass with an inside turn. So let's do that chunk again. We do the sugar push, and basically two left side passes. The first one, I just have to lead the left side pass and get out of the way. The second one, I'm gonna lead the turn. Prep your follower, inside turn, anchor step. So that's a good chunk, right? Because I'm doing the sugar push resets my brain, left side pass, left side pass with a turn. Now, the second combo, is gonna be the sugar tuck. So that's where I just raise my hand. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. And you'll notice my hand's on top. So the natural one you'll wanna lead after that is the right side pass, right? So if we did that again, I'm even gonna do it from the same side so it's as easy for you to remember. So we have sugar tuck and the right side pass. So that's the next combo. But let's put that all together. So we have the sugar push first, right? Followed by two left side passes. First one's the basic left side pass. Second one has the turn. After the turn, I'm basically doing a sugar push, but it's the sugar tuck where I tuck Megan away. My hands ends up on the top, so I lead a right side pass to get to the other side. Make sense? All right, so now to the other side, we're gonna do a similar combo. This time we're gonna do the passing tuck with the right side pass. So this is a left side pass for me. Megan passes on my left side. I do the passing tuck. My hand ends up on top, so I lead the right side pass. So that's a good combo. Even if you don't do this in the same order, we're gonna put it together in a routine. You'll be able to watch it to music. But the passing tuck goes really well with the right side pass. That make sense? All right, so let's do that all from the beginning before we add our last little bit. So, sugar push, followed by two left side passes. The first left side pass, where she passes my left, basic left side pass. Then we do the turn. We prep the turn. Now, sugar tuck and right side pass. Sugar tuck and right side pass. Now, similar combo, passing tuck passing tuck, and the right side pass. So now, I got a lot going on in my brain. The reset in the beginning is always the sugar push. You can do sugar pushes forever until you remember what the heck pattern I need to do next, right? So we'll do one sugar push so you can reset your brain. Now this is the eight count whip. This is where things go crazy. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, right? So if you're a beginner, one of the combos you could just do by itself is sugar push, getting used to the six count patterns, followed by your whip for your eight count patterns, right? So that's a combo you could just practice all by itself. I can do sugar pushes to get myself in my six count pattern and then my whip for my eight count pattern, right? That makes sense? So if we take the whole thing from the top and I'll try to keep We'll put it all together for you, but I'll try to remember the group. The first group, three patterns are gonna go together. Sugar push, and there's no rule to this. This is just a way I think you can remember it a little easier. Two left side passes. There's the first one, second one with the turn. If you forget the turn, who cares? That's your first grouping. Second grouping, sugar tuck, 
and a right side pass. Third grouping, passing tuck and a right side pass. Right? Final grouping, sugar push with your whip. Sugar push with your whip. Right? And then we're going to go back, the whole thing on the other side. Sugar push first, two left side passes. First one, basic left side pass. Second one with the turn. I remember the turn last time. I just wanted to show you that it still works without it. Now the sugar tuck. So we're in our second grouping and the right side pass. Third grouping is the passing tuck and the right side pass. These work really well together. Passing tuck and right side pass. And then we're on to our fourth grouping, the sugar push into the whip. Right? And then we're going to go back to the sugar push. And then maybe you go, oh, shoot, I don't remember. But after a sugar push, I let a whip once. And all of a sudden, we're just, uh, I don't know what to do left. I know some left side pass. And now we're off script, but you're comfortable dancing. If you want to know what to learn next, you'll want to watch this video here. We'll show you the patterns you should learn next after the beginner patterns. And if you're really serious about leveling up your West Coast Swing, you should head over to our website. It's the coolest thing since sliced bread. Everything's broken out by levels from beginner to beginner, intermediate, intermediate, advanced, pro level moves. There's a favorite section, tips section, uh, techniques, everything you need to go from a beginner West Coast Swing Dancer to a pro. See you on the dance floor soon.